All right, so today was pretty eventful. Uh, had a whole day down here so far by myself. It's about three o'clock now. Wife's getting ready to get off of work, so I'm gonna go home and pick the kids up and get back at it this evening. So this is what we, we did. Uh, I cut my st stand boards down. I mean, they're just my drop leg uh, to hold that until I get my post cut in there. Not going to put the coast on or the post on until I cut the linoleum. Uh, simply for the fact that I want everything on top of the linoleum. Now I'm over here in the shade. It's a little easier to see to explain stuff. Let's see, I bulked that out on the edge with a piece of OSB as well. So we have about a four inch beam now. That'll allow me to hook up my post topper on it. So, so we were able to get that accomplished. Um, I got the, the roof all the way on. Well, when I say all the way on, all the way, but the last six inches ran out of a piece. Now I have to go grab it. So... That will be another day, because the metal place isn't right around the corner. But when I'm going there, i got to grab a couple of edge pieces anyhow. So right now, uh, this piece is just sitting up there. I got You can see that's pushed out there. i got to trim some of it. And I had to mark this for the fold for this side. But we got our corners are fitting good. Uh, really wraps it up. And hides that exposed OSB. Now they're just sitting in there. You can see that doesn't have any screws in it yet. I just slid it up there to make sure how it would look. Very pleased with the solid front. Uh, now I'm going to put some signage on here at some point. I'm thinking of maybe get the steel pipe base thread come out maybe two inches, two inch nipple or three inch nipple. And then do some play off of steel pipe on here. Uh, you know, connecting a piece of wood in the middle or something like that. You know, just something so we can keep it semi-rustic, I guess you want to say. And that's also how we're going to do this sign. So, pretty excited about it. Uh, the food truck event in town today kind of has me motivated out here kicking ass. But temperature doesn't help. It's about 85 degrees and 100% humidity. So it's a little rough. But anyway, uh, we're getting ready to put up our railing. So all I have to do now at this point, uh, I'm a little concerned about how sturdy these post, this post setup is going to be here. I would like to just be able to do the posts and a railing, but as I stand back here and shake this, well, I guess it did really good. Got a lot more sturdy once we got all the the roof stuff secured. But I was a little worried about how it was wobbling, but I think the extra weight took care of that at this point. And then we're going to have a lot more weight because we're going to have some metal underneath here as well as, uh, you know, all your trim and stuff like that. Light fixtures hanging. So, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, I'm going to come back and try to wrap up this metal, depending on what the, the heat's like. I may just, I picked up the extra uh, quarter-inch ply. I may just sit in the shade and put that down inside. I did get the two by two by eights uh, as well. That will be able to use to close off the wheel wells from the inside. Then we'll get the tin wrapped around it underneath. But that'll give them a solid a solid surface to attach everything to and push up against with the tin. So it's looking great. Uh, very pleased with where we're at. I can, I'm going to put the linoleum down on both ends probably before I put the door back in. 
just makes sense. I have the space up above, uh, so I might as well get it as secure as possible. Then it's a little easier to caulk the uh, up against the linoleum in the door once it's complete. So that's going to be another thing I gotta gotta work on then. Uh, I really want to seal this thing up when we're all done uh, with the basic build. So I'm going to go from the inside and make sure every every area that has outside exposure uh, does get a bit of caulk on it to prevent anything from, you know, insects or whatever. Just as I'm working on this, a lot of little spiders crawling around it now. Uh, some earwigs. If you're from in this region, you'll understand what those are, little pincher bugs. Uh, things like that. So it's clear, you know, that's... It's going to be a common thing if we don't prevent it. Uh, this is just wood right now. But I am parked underneath all these trees, stuff like that. Uh, but I, I feel that that's the same setting I'm going to have it stored in as well. So I do want to have it very secure, uh, preventing any insects from getting inside. But until later, I'm signing off.